Hey guys, how are y'all? Another beer video, and this time I'm pouring it, or I actually did already pour it because I didn't want to make a mess in here. But I have it in a growler. It is Pelican Brewing's uh, Stormwatchers Winterfest. Uh, when I poured it, it actually got about half a finger of just like this deep, dark, uh, like hazelnut-ish head that just didn't last very long at all. It like dissipated very quickly. Um, but this is their barley wine, 13% um, ABV um, by Pelican Brewing. Uh, poured like incredibly dark. It's actually not like, I saw on camera, it looks pitch black, right? So you put it to the light and it's like this very, very dark reddish like mahogany color. Um, not completely black, but there it is very, very dark. Um, yeah, so, and I got a growler of it, like a 13% barley wine that I got a growler of for a killer deal, man, killer. Let's just say it's under $15, which is a freaking steal. Um, I've had a couple sips of this before, Did never had like an actual full-on glass, uh, let alone a growler of it, so uh, let's get into it. Let's see what the aroma is. So first off, a lot of like this malty, bready sweetness that you get. Um, from barley wines and of course slight slight toffee and slight caramel I also get like this very uh, like dark fruit smell too kind of like raisins and figs But overall it just smells like very sweet of like caramel and toffee and just like this maltiness to it Yeah, and like that weird smell of figs, uh, actually, I, I think it's figs, I keep saying figs because it like, kind of reminds me of figs, but I could be totally wrong, but there's this smell to it that like, I guess I'm just calling it figs, I don't know if it's actually figs or not, so uh, let's give this a taste, cheers. Okay. Mouth feels pretty good, pretty full body, full mouth feel. Um, definitely not liquidy like um, like a thin beer. It's definitely not thin. You get a lot of uh, this like burnt caramel molasses kind of taste to it. Really good, and it kind of fades into like this very not very sweet but fairly sweet like breadiness uh, towards the end there. Not very hoppy at all. Yeah, uh, you get slight, slight dark fruits too, um, but for I'm getting a little bit of the bitterness towards the end now, and it's kind of like this, like coffee beans, coffee grounds kind of bitterness towards the end. Um, not huge, but like very slight. But for the most part, the finish is sweet. Um, you get slight alcohol burn there towards the end, um, and like dark fruits, like. Raisiny and figgy, I guess, um, if that makes any sense. But yeah, it's actually pretty decent. It's it might be slightly on the sweet side, um, but definitely not bad, especially for how much I got it for. Yeah, definitely a little on the sweet side. Like as you sip it. After every sip, it's like it progressively gets sweeter, just because I guess it's like kind of lingering on your palate already. Um, so every sip, it kind of like becomes stronger, I guess. But the alcohol burn the end is not crazy at all. It definitely lets you know that it's a high ABV beer, um, but it's not like overwhelming or anything. You definitely get the warmth there in the back of your throat. Uh, overall, I'm gonna say it's. Actually, not bad. Um, this is the second time, or actually the first time, that I'm actually drinking like an entire glass of it. Uh, before I just took a couple sips out of a friend's uh, glass, but this is not bad at all. Um, I wouldn't like. I think eight ounces of this at a time is good. If you get any more than that, it might be too sweet because you do get that 
very malty sweetness um, finish there um, that needs slightly more bitterness um, like I was saying it gets it has a very 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 slight like coffee ground coffee beans uh, kind of bitterness to it but it definitely needs to be a little bit more hoppy to balance out that sweetness just because that sweetness does get more intense after every sip but overall man if you can find this uh, it's definitely worth a try. Definitely, um, I wouldn't. I don't know if I would trade for it unless you know you're all about that barley wine is life kind of thing. But like, I don't know if I would trade for it. Like, it's good, but this is probably gonna be my last growler of it. I mean, for the price, actually, I probably would get an R growler, but I wouldn't pay anywhere near this the what the price of this growler should be for it again. Uh, just because I don't think it's worth that much, but definitely for however for how much I got it for, this is definitely worth getting again. Uh, it's it's a sipper, um, eight ounces at a time is I think is how much I can handle at a time. Just because, like I said, it's kind of sweet, like not kind of, but it progressively gets sweeter. Like the first sip's not too bad, and then you know by your third or fourth sip, you're like, holy crap, am I gonna get diabetes? Um, but yeah, definitely recommend trying it at least once. Um, yeah, that is Pelican Brewing's, uh, what, what, what was it called? It was, a uh, uh, crap. It's not the beer, I promise. It's not the beer getting to me. Uh, uh, Sword Watchers Winterfest, that's what it's called. 13 ABV Barley Wine by Pelican Brewing. Definitely worth trying. Uh, not a whole lot else to say about it. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Comments link below. Subscribe for more videos. And as always, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Thank you for watching. Cheers.